For the transcript, I'm Spencer Hickey, managing editor, coming to you from Selby Stadium. So what are your thoughts on the finish, and what were you thinking as you did the race? Um, so the whole plan was to, um, hopefully we were thinking that Nicole mitchmer um, and Lenore would take out the race uh, pretty hard, and I would just kind of stick in behind them, and then with 800 to go, kind of try to take off, and hopefully um, <laughs> that uh, Cazola would be a little bit tired and not be able to get me, but I actually ended up getting a side stitch six laps in, and uh, was running in lane two almost the entire race, because I didn't want to be stuck on the inside by the rail, because I wanted to be able to make my move. But then I ended up tucking in um, to try to get out of lane two, and then didn't have the opening to go with my 800, though I don't know if I could have gone. So I ended up going with, uh, I don't know, 600 meters to go or something, and because Ola was just so strong that I uh, just couldn't um, couldn't hold her off. So I tried my best and died out, but I kept third place, so that was I'm happy with it. And this was the only competition you were in in the NCAA Outdoor Championships that were here, but you could have been in others. You say? Um, I was ranked seventh in the 1500 coming in, and um, since there are prelims, I would have run in the prelims on Thursday, and then I would have run today. I would have had about two hours and 45 minutes in between both races, and I decided um, that I didn't want to be tired for the 5K. I wanted to be as fresh as I could be, so I cut out the 1500 in the hopes that I could be in the top three, or at least I wanted to be a national champion. I was going to give it a shot, and I I did my best. And how much training did you have to do for this competition? Um, so I had cross country, so I've been running all year round. This is the first year I've fully actually lifted. So I've been running about 35 to 40 miles a week um, consistently since uh, after Christmas break. I've uh, been uh, cross training a little bit, uh, doing water jogging because I am um, pretty fragile and so I've been doing a lot of um, on the track hoping to get my speed up a little bit for the end of those races. And this is your fourth year, you've graduated, but can you talk about some of your time in Ohio Wesleyan and being in track and field? Um, so as a freshman I didn't really know entirely what uh, college running was about but I was planning on just having fun and then uh, my freshman year I had Kat Zimmerly as a mentor and she uh, helped me learn what it was about and then my sophomore year I got really hungry I wanted I wanted to be up there in the top and um, so then my junior year I ended up being injured and the whole year I spent time watching my teammates um, not being able to help them out and that's when I really really knew how much running meant to me and that's when I became mentally pretty tough and how I came back this year and ended up dropping um, well I ran a 1658 my sophomore year and the 5k and this year ran a 1625 so I had a pretty big improvement with uh, the 5k and a lot of that was just mental toughness and being off and hungry for for a success yeah. and what are you doing next so you have a year left of eligibility so uh, yeah you to use that um, hopefully I can use that year of eligibility um, potentially at the University of Toledo, maybe. Uh, I haven't fully talked to their coach yet, so it's, uh, I don't know. Um, but uh, I'll be going to grad school there um, this coming fall. All right, anything else you want to say about your time in OU and what it's been like being on the track team for three years? Um, it's, when I came in, it was, um, it, it was a team that was here to have fun and we didn't have, I, I would say we had high goals, but it wasn't um, quite together as like a team for, for um, like cross country. We weren't like, let's make it to nationals. That wasn't a very realistic goal, but I was like, let's make it a realistic goal. Let's make it there. And then my senior year, we finally got there for the first time. And so I think since I've been here, I've helped to make the team a little bit more competitive and be like, well, let's just not settle. We need to um, push ourselves for the best and find out what we can do. And what was it like being able to compete as a senior your last time at home in the national championships? Uh, it was amazing. Um, I'm really happy to be here. It's funny because every this I've been quite paranoid. Uh, I was like, something's going to happen. I'm not going to be able to make it. So I was joking around and I was like, I'm going to get hit by a bus or something. And then uh, the other night I'm crossing the street and somebody's bus started moving towards me. And my teammate Abby was like, Kara, it's going to happen. You're not going to make it. And so um, it's... It's amazing that I've made it here. I have been for the past month uh, struggling with uh, almost a stress fracture in my left shin. So I've been running on soft surfaces, but then there's the chance of running on the soft surfaces. It's like 
uh, you could trip and fall, and so it's been, I've been trying to make sure I could get here, and now that I'm here, I'm glad that I was here because I got to see so many alum that can come back to Owu and my family and my grandparents and everybody else, so it's been great.